you notice that your child seems to struggle to put their heel down when you're walking or running? Have you noticed that your child is constantly complaining of hip or groin pain because they don't walk with their heel down? Been trying to find an answer for why your child struggles to put their heel down to walk, but everybody simply says, don't worry, he'll grow out of it. Hi there, it's Nisha from My Favorite Physio. In today's video, I'm jumping in to share with you a case study of a family who we have met recently in our clinic. This boy is now 12 years old. He came in with his mom and he complained of hip and groin pain. His mother, however, reports that actually she thinks that the cause is the way he is walking. Right from the first day he started walking at 18 months, he has never put his heel down on the ground. She has noticed that and she had gone to pediatricians, orthopedic specialists, podiatrists, and even physios to try and figure out why her child doesn't walk properly with heel down flat on the ground. Mom reports that over the last 10 years, she's been constantly told, don't worry, he'll grow out of it. However, she notices he hasn't grown out of it and sometimes it's worse than others. And currently he's experiencing quite a lot of hip and groin pain because his heels have come off the ground a lot more. So we carried out a full assessment for this little boy and we actually found that he had increased muscle tone in his calf muscles. So often that would indicate a neurological cause, meaning that there's signals coming from the brains to the muscle that's causing the muscle to really be a little bit tighter, which limits the child from putting his heel down. As a result, walking and running on his toes, he's ended up causing more pain in his hip and groin because the way he's running is not normal or correct for the body. We also had to say to mom that the result of this is probably because of cerebral palsy, where there's a uh, impact that happened in the brain, whether it was at birth or during development in mommy's tummy, that has caused this signal to the muscle to be higher than normal, which causes his heels to come off the ground. He is mild, so he has mild cerebral palsy, which explains why he's managed to get away with doing a lot of things for the last 12 years. However, with every growth spurt, the bone shoots up faster and the muscle is still tight. The tone is still there. That's why she sees waves of him being better and then worse. And it just coincides with his growth spurt. And mom actually reported he has recently had a growth spurt, which explains why that heel is coming off the ground a lot more, which has contributed to his hip and groin pain when he's playing sports. So moving forward, we now know the true cause for his uh, toe walking. We would treat it, you know, to reduce that spasticity in the calf muscles, increase his muscle length, and teach him to run and walk correctly. So. The moral of the story is if you have a child who you've noticed isn't walking quite right, you're concerned that their heel never touches the ground, please don't wait and think they will grow out of it. And I understand your frustration if you've seen many specialists and people simply say to you they'll grow out of it. Don't sit and wait. Perhaps what the best thing to do is to speak to one of our expert pediatric physiotherapists the number to ring here at My Favorite Physio is 02-9790-4233. And if you know somebody out there who has a child who may well now be in their 10 or teenage years who is struggling with you know, injuries and pains because they don't put their heel down, why don't you like and share this video with them? Until next time, have a fantastic day. Bye.